We are gathered here to fill you with fear and give you a treat for your ears as we invade your mind with our scary rhymes and some tales that can be gory. As you bear witness and sit here and listen to our poetic horror stories. Hey, what's up? My name is Damien. Yes, I know my name is the same, just like the Antichrist kid from the movie, The Omen. And I'm here to tell you about my story of how I met my match, because I thought I was big and bad. When I was in elementary, everyone in my school used to fear me. My classmates secretly called me a bully, but I didn't care. As long as they showed me respect. I was the king around here, and I ruled my subjects with an iron fist. I never had to do my own homework. I would find some nerdy kid to do it for me. <laughs> At lunchtime, you have to go through me. You either give me your lunch, or your lunch money. And it wasn't just the students that were scared of me. The teachers were also a part of my tyranny. I ran the whole school. You were good with me as long as you didn't break my rules. Especially if you were new. New kids were at the bottom of the totem pole. They were considered lower than low. To me, they were subhuman. And they didn't matter to me. To me, they were just a new toy for me to play with and torment. That is, until a transfer student started here. He was the new kid. I didn't even bother to learn his name. But there was something about him. I was three times his size, I didn't look my age, I was only 12 years old. But I could easily pass for 18. I know what you were thinking. You're 12 years old and still in elementary? I was held back a grade, mind your business. The new kid was very small, scrawny, and he seemed really quiet, meek, and mild. He looked like if you said, boo, he would start to cry. <laughs> but this wasn't the case, and my instincts never steered me wrong. I felt a strange, dark vibe around him. Something about him that intimidated me. It was something in his eyes that pierced my soul. Something about him was scary. I have to admit it to myself. I was afraid of him, but I wasn't going to let him punk me. Oh no. I will show him who is the boss. He won't see me coming. He won't know what hit him. This is just a friendly reminder to please like and comment to let us know how we are doing so far. We would love to hear from you all. And if you're new, please subscribe and become a part of the PHS crew. And we thank you. My normal ritual I like to do to introduce myself is to give the new kids a warm welcome I would give the boys a wedgie, and the girls a noogie. I may be a bully, but I still consider myself a gentleman. <laughs> anyway, I know this would set the tone, and they would know their place here. Plus, this would be embarrassing. So I waited for lunchtime so everyone in the school could watch. I walked up behind the new kid to surprise him with a wedgie. But suddenly, he turned around instantly. It caught me off guard. But the next thing he did, I couldn't have predicted. He gave me a swift kick to my little boy bits, and then he punched me in my chest. I fell down to my knees and I couldn't catch my breath. I was winded. 
for a scrawny kid, his punch had great force behind it. It felt like he cracked my ribs. Everyone in the lunchroom saw this incident. I was the one embarrassed. All of the kids busted out laughing and pointing at me. This wasn't on my bingo card. I never thought this could happen to me. I'm bigger than him. I'm the bully. The new kid just stood over me. He was staring down at me without an expression. It really was creepy. One of the teachers rushed over to separate us and help me up. I thought to myself, this really sucks. And on top of it, the teacher walked me over to the principal's office. I was the only one in trouble. They gave me detention. <laughs> I was hella pissed. While I was in detention, I started plotting my revenge. I can't believe he made me look like an utter fool. I'll have to teach him my rules and let him know he is on the bottom of the totem pole. The next day, I stalked him, watching his every move. I noticed he wasn't talking to anyone or making any friends. I thought to myself, this is going to be easy. He has no friends that can get in my way. No one who can run and tell. No one to save his ass. And I know the best opportunity to get him alone. And I'm going to beat him up and give him the ultimate wedgie by stringing him up the flagpole. <laughs> yeah. He just doesn't know how much he messed up. Me and the new kid had P.E. together after lunch. When all the other boys left the locker room, that is when I made my move. I went over and confronted him. That's when I said, Oh, you think your little stunt was funny? Well, I'm back to get my revenge. Then I pushed him. He just stood there and he didn't say a word. He just stared at me. He looked very disturbed. I started to feel myself. Because to me, he looked a bit scared. So I pushed him again. <laughs> then I said, What's the problem? Does the cat have your tongue? I smiled as I said these words and I told him my plans for him. <laughs> I'm going to beat you up. Then I'm going to give you the ultimate wedgie and string you up the flagpole. This way, everybody in this school will know that I'm the one who did this to you. Sending a message out to everyone. That I'm not the one for them to laugh and point at. I'm not the one to make fun of. You are, new kid. Now, do you have any last words? The new kid just stood there. Suddenly his face started to turn really red. And then he started breathing real fast. Like a vicious dog. He was panting. Then he started slowly growling and hissing under his breath. His little body started to swell, growing bigger every second till he was bigger and taller than me. He bulked up just like the Hulk, but his skin wasn't green. His whole body was red. He also started to sprout two horns on each side of his head. His teeth became sharp, jagged, and pointy. His nails on his hands elongated and turned black and sharp like claws. Then from behind him, I could see a tail with a point on the end of it. It moved around like a snake but it was sharp and pointy like an arrow. I was so scared of what I was seeing, I diverted my eyes down, and when I noticed he had hooves for feet, now his transformation was complete. And what stood before me was the devil himself. Just without the pitchfork, I was mesmerized and in a trance. I didn't realize I pissed myself. Then, the devil bent over and said to me, Go ahead and try to get 
give me an ultimate wedgie. I quickly turned away to run, but instead I stumbled over my feet. But it didn't matter because he grabbed me. Then he looked me square into my eyes as he held me up from the back of my pants tightly. He was giving me a deep, painful, can't sit down for a week wedgie. When the bell rang at three, the whole school was about to leave. There I was, just hanging, crying like a baby from a flagpole by the seat of my pants. He gave me the ultimate wedgie. Everyone, teachers, students, stood around pointing and laughing at me. I was stripped of my dignity. They all felt like I got what I deserved in the end. After that day, I could barely show my face. I was so ashamed. But from that day on, I will never bully anyone again. And the lesson here? Just because you believe you are big, strong, and bad, and think you can bully someone who you perceive to be small and weak? Take it from me and think twice. Because there is always going to be someone or something else out there bigger and badder than you that can fuck you up.